Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of OS Experience. Now basically what I do on this little show is, for those who didn't watch the last time, basically what I do is I just look at visuals and stuff you see with operating systems, mostly like the software itself, like the shell for example. Like say for example what you see on the screen now is Windows XP. Now the shell, system shell of Windows XP is the desktop the taskbar and the start button with the start menu. Now, you probably think I'm just looking at Windows XP today, but no, <laughs> I'm actually going to show you something completely different, something interesting. Now, you've probably read the title by, by this point, but here we go, I'm just going to show you this. Now, I'm just going to. Now, I'm actually using this in a virtual machine, which is the reason why it was a bit small enough to kind of weird. So I'm not going to click the start button, I'm going to go and see what's happened here, see what's went on here. I've got a challenge bar coming up and while I've got a challenge bar coming up, well let's click start. Oh, this paste, okay. This is an application by a developer called iobit or lobit can't, can't remember basically what this is is a start menu kind of program uh, for versions of windows under windows 8 and it gives the experience of what it'd be like if windows xp windows 7 and windows vista had the experience of windows 8 so it gives it a kind of start screen kind of thing as you can see here and here it is here. Now basically what, what you see here is you've got start menu text but it's not in the same font that they use for Windows 8. It's actually, I think it's just a Arial or some other summer font. Could be a Microsoft font, I'm not sure. Got the name. This, act, this functions quite well. This actual name of the user using the PC but I don't think you can actually change the I send you links to the main operating system. Now I'm going to see if this works. Change my picture. Right. Now it doesn't bring. If you uh, press the Windows key on the keyboard, it doesn't bring up the Iobit start screen. However, you've got the icon here, Win Metro as it's called, and you've also got the challenge bar that comes up. So if I go, I'm going to move this to the side, if I'm, I think if I go to the top, that doesn't work. If I go to the bottom, that works. It brings me up this little charger kind of thing, I just close it like that. I'm not sure if you can actually click away from it, it that works as well. So similar to what it is on Windows 8, when you highlight it, it just pops up with the charms as they're called. And you have to move the mouse into the charge bar and you get, you know, all the information. You've got box under items, you've got search, the start button, and you've also got settings. And here in the center of the screen, I can't really move the mouse, it'll hide it. You've got the clock. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back to the start screen here. I don't know why this error keeps coming up. It keeps asking me to insert a disk. I don't have a disk. It's asking me for the CD of the operating system. And it's got links here. I right, here it is here. Download more free freeware from iobit. And that's the brand and you've also got links to their you know uh, social media and everything else. I don't know why they have it there, you should have that in settings. So I'm just gonna without any any more, I'm just gonna show you you know mostly what, what it's like. And also I'm gonna mention up here advice. To get better display, please run this program at higher screen resolution. I can't actually make this any higher because if it gets any higher, we cut off the screen from where I see it, and it gets it's a bit annoying. But if I think if I just stretch this, it'll probably work. But I don't know what VMware's doing, and it's not allowing me to actually install VMware tools. So, anywho, with a more fuss, I'm just going to carry on. So the first thing is the calendar. 
and basically it's just a simple camera application. It's similar to like a web browser kind of thing. And it just shows you, you know, the time and date. It's just very simple. It's literally just a web page as you see here. Now, weather. Now it did work on my Windows 7 computer, so I'm not sure why it's taking quite a while to load up. Well, weather's not working, I'm just going to put it down to finance. And just similar to like how you'd see the finance app on Windows 8 and Windows 10, similarly, you've got the exchange rates and everything else going on here. So that's interesting. Um, you've got the desktop, which actually does take you to the desktop, similar to what it does on Windows 8. Oh, go away. You've got photos, set of picture directory, browse. Now, you can actually change the settings here, like what it does here. I'm going to go and set it to. Right, default user, I'm going to. Bear with me just now. I'll just set the Windows folder and fill, so... And here you, here you go, it shows all the Im 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 images on your computer. This little dot, I've got this little uh, Windows 98 kind of logo going on here. Got the Bliss wallpaper. And all that lovely stuff. So that's the Photos application and it animates as you, as you can see here. News. Does it work? Come on. No. What's, I can't remember how the news app works. I've not actually used it. Sports. Nope. All programs. Now, unlike Windows 8, you know, the vanilla version of Windows 8, you would have to right click on the start screen and it would pop up with a little icon, you know, showing you all applications. But it's actually a tail here, like this. These are all the applications I've got on the computer, as is. Internet Explorer, which sends me to the desktop, unfortunately. Right. Bing. Sends me straight to, to Bing search, so I'm just going to... No, wait. <laughs> Try that again. I think, to some, for some reason, actually, I think this is actually made in uh, Visual Studio. Could be wrong, but I think it is actually made in Visual Studio. I'll find it just now. Come on. It's taking its time. I don't really think the buttons work either, so I think it's actually using an explorer. Maps. I think it takes me to either Bing Maps. I think it does take me to Bing Maps. SkyDrive takes me to the website. Facebook takes me to the website. And Twitter takes me to the website. Now these little links here, these are actual links applications on the computer. I'm not sure if it actually displays them all, but it does display quite a few. And apparently, it actually shows the stuff I've used, you know, in the past while using this. So, some up to here. Any apps I've used in the past, it just seems to get shown here. It's not just stuff you can pin, you can't pin stuff here, as far as I'm aware. So, you've got the on screen keyboard. But, oh, the settings, I'll show you that later. And that that's how that works. You, here, there's additional options you can read about. You know, it tells you, you know, about the thing. The settings, check for updates, technical support. This shuts the computer down. <laughs> this is fancy as well, I kind of like this. And this closes it. So I'm just going to pop it back out.
and I'm going to go into settings. It's not got too many settings, it's just got run automatically when the start up, open run menu, uh, run metro desktop automatically, blah blah blah. blah. Okay. Set in the language as well. User, I think I've already showed this, you know, options to shut it down and everything else. Now, I think you can actually use this establish bar from in, within here. Yes, you can. Now, I'm going to show you how this works also. You can search stuff. I'm going to look what you can on Windows 8. You just search, I'm going to search up calc, and it's going to come up with a calculator. And it pops up, and I can use the calculator quite easily. Settings, you've already seen this incidentally. It's only got three links here, it's not got all the settings and working options. You've got network, so you can choose like the Wi Fi or whatever it is if you're using a laptop. You've got the volume control, so you can move it up or down, and I'll actually show you this actually works. I'm going to bring out the volume control. Oh, uh, watch, see, see it here. It actually does work. And power doesn't pop up with a little menu like it does on Windows 8, it just pops up uh, through the actual save bar. And you've also got my metro settings. Similar to Windows 8, it brings you straight to the full settings application. And as I say, search, I'll go back into and It just shows you the EXE of uh, the application. It doesn't show you what the application is actually called. If I search um, does it work? No. no. Ah, it does. See? But it's because it's such an old version of an explorer it doesn't work so well. But yeah, that's quite handy. Now, and I wouldn't really really suggest this as an actual kind of application you would use on a daily basis, but it is quite a nice little novelty. And like a lot of other, you know, software developers who want to advertise their software, I a bit like to bundle their system care software, you know, other software that buy them alongside it. So I don't know. Downloaded and, downloaded and installed a Win Metro, and you know that installed successfully. But also in, during that time, I also downloaded um, Advanced System Care and iobit Uninstaller. So basically, what Uninstaller does is it basically selects all applications. It also, if you're using Windows 10, it also includes applications, you know, from the store. And you can select to uninstall whatever ones you have, but quite some Windows XP, it's only using the ones that are installed on Windows XP. So, <laughs> Advanced Windows Care Ultimate, you can update it. I think this 8.1 is actually the latest, I think, that works on Windows XP. And I've yet to activate it. But I'm not going to activate it because I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> but yep, that was Iobit uh, Start Win Metro Start Screen. It's, as I say, it's not really something you'd probably use on a daily basis, but it's, it's quite a nice novelty. And if you did like Windows 8 and like the start screen of Windows 8, yeah, if you have Windows 7, it also works with Windows 7, it works with Windows Vista. Not Windows 10 because I think. It was just designed for Windows 7 and below, so I think trying to install this on Windows 8.1 would actually not work. And I know that because I've tested it on Windows 10, it just comes up with errors. So, I'm Ricky and I'm going to shut this computer down, and I will see you in the next OS Experience episode. Bye bye.